I should probably mention I'm not a professional and I'm not sponsored by Big Chief or any of the other things that I mentioned. Time to get some fish ready for the smoker. I emptied the freezer out of last season's catch and uh, it's time to refill the freezer. So before we do any of that, we're going to uh, get this fish prepped and prepared. We're gonna use a dry brine, which is four parts brown sugar and one part salt. We're gonna put this on dry. Uh, it's going to pull out the liquid from the fish and get it ready for the smoker for tomorrow. First thing I have to do is take the fish out of the vacuum sealed bags get them cut into portions, about two inch strips, so they get a nice coating of brine, as well as they get a lot of surface area for the smoke uh, once we get them in the smoker tomorrow. So we're gonna cut that up. We're gonna lay a thin layer of uh, the dry brine into uh, our plastic tub. We'll stack a layer of fish skin side down, and then we will uh, put more brine over the top, and then another layer of fish, more brine on top of that. That should do it for the amount of fish that I have. All right, cleanup time. Fish is in the fridge for the night, so we'll leave it there. We'll check it in the morning. The fish has been in the brine since last night, about 16 hours at this point, so it's time to uh, take it out of the brine. We're just gonna wipe this dry. We're not gonna rinse it. I'm just gonna wipe it. I'm gonna put some gloves on, wipe it with my hands. I'm gonna put it on. Uh, I got some drying racks from Smokehouse Products, which is uh, the big chief brand, the smoker that I use. Um, so I'm gonna try these. They're supposed to be nonstick. I'll probably spray them anyway, just in case. Um, they should be easier. Usually I take my racks out and I uh, put everything on the racks, but we're gonna try it this way. So now that I've got the fish wiped off and on the racks, I'm going to uh, leave them out. I'm gonna get a fan set up blowing on them. We're gonna form what's called a pellicle. Uh, we're gonna let them start drying. This is when smoking actually starts because we're slowly bringing their temperature up from out of the fridge. We'll get them in the smoker at a really low temperature eventually. We're gonna give this about an hour or two until they dry just a little bit, but they're still tacky, like wet paint. Then we can throw some seasoning on, anything that you would want. If you want them sweet, you can put on some maple syrup or brush them with honey. Um, I like to put a little uh, garlic on some of them. I put some crushed black pepper on some of them. Um, that's all I really like. I just like the smoked fish. While the fish is uh, sitting inside, I got the smoker out. so. I went with a Big Chief smoker because I was mostly interested in smoking fish and jerky. So this is a low temperature smoker. The element only goes up to about 165. So it's actually really good for fish. Um, if you're smoking, you wanna try to smoke your fish under 200 degrees if you can do that with your smoker. Um, so I was originally looking at the Little Chief but ended up with the Big Chief because it was on sale. Fish has been about an hour and a half under the fan. It feels just about right. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of gobs of garlic. This is out of uh, Boonville, New York. Uh, it says awesomecountry.com. If interested, it's a whole mix of different garlics and some spices, really good stuff. And some good old black pepper for some of them. I'll probably do uh, both on a third. I'll do just black pepper on another third and then just gobs on the last third. Three thirds make a whole, pretty sure. Okay, so there's been an alteration. Uh, one of my uh, employees here came up and he said he wanted a little bit of sweet on there. So we're gonna put some honey uh, on this strip, which I didn't season with anything yet. So that's what's gonna happen. So again, we're trying to raise the fish temperature slowly. So we're gonna start the smoker now and put the fish in at the same time. So as it heats up, that fish will slowly rise. Um, I will be putting a probe in uh, the smoker um, I'll put one on the rack and I'll also put one in the biggest piece of salmon so that I can uh, regulate temperatures. I have a, a dual probe, uh, battery powered, you know, grill probe thingy. All right, the fish is in, uh, the probes are set. So smoker's coming up in probe one and uh, the fish interior is 54. So again, coming up very slowly. All right, so it's been about an hour. We're gonna add some more wood chips. We're gonna check it out. So we actually have a pretty good burn on it. So what I'm going to do is leave those charred ones in and I'm just going to add uh, a bit more onto the surface so we can provide a little more smoke uh, on this fish here. Okay, while we're waiting for that to be done, we're going to make popcorn and eat it. In another hour we have a total of two hours since we turned it on and put the fish in we're not going to add any more wood chips because um it's not really going to accept more smoke flavor so at this point we're just to the drying phase two and a half hours in the smoker so we're going to check some of these smaller pieces uh just to see how they're doing 
it's about 100 degrees. So my next step, step now that we've been, again, increasing the temperature very slowly is I have an insulating wrap that I'll get out and I'll put it on here to uh, increase the temperature of the yeah, smoke. We gave it another hour. Um, I was watching the temperature probe and the, the fish is coming up above 100 now. So I'm going to give it a check with this probe just to see where we're at and maybe give it another uh, hour if we need it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but the insulating blanket did bring the temperature up, which was great. So uh, we just got to go a little bit. All right, so the fish is at about 110. So we want to go to about 130, 135 before um, we pull the fish and let it just uh, finish off of the heat and out of the smoker. So uh, it came up pretty good. So we'll give it another 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check it again. And hopefully we're golden. Okay, we're looking good. So we're going to get this fish out of here now. I got another uh, employee yeah. helping now for... Uh, Yep, this is out. the other employee. Hello. There you go, slide, slide, slide. Go ahead, we'll turn it sideways. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go, perfect. And there we go, whole bunch. Smoked salmon and brown trout. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, so that's it. Fish is out of the smoker. Uh, we're gonna let it cool down to room temperature and then get it in the refrigerator and cool it down the rest of the way. Should be good for about two weeks. I never tried freezing it because it doesn't last that long. Um, I may, um, may give some to some friends. We'll see what happens. Hope you liked the way I went. If you uh, got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments. See you next time. all right guys um it was me the whole time behind the camera the other employee not the red girl girl employee all right uh bye <laughs>